um, just how's your ankle feeling and also how did it feel when you had to throw up there and bite on it and that sort of hurt as well? Yeah, eyes uh, it's, it's sore right now. Um, it's uh, it's uh, it's hurting. It's frustrating. Um, yeah, I mean it, it's hurting a little bit and uh, it's sore. I got some treatment on. I'm gonna go get some more in the morning. Uh, yeah, I mean that's more. That's all I can do right now is get treatment and then, yeah. When I came back in, it was just kind of sore and I maybe mad. I couldn't really go as fast as I wanted to and then when I did, it hurt. So uh, just gotta just gotta get treatment and hopefully it feels better for next game. Yeah, I just yeah, I came down, yeah, on yeah, uh, yeah, on, on that dude's uh, ankle. Chris, in what ways did you feel like you were limited in that fourth quarter after coming back from your first training? Um, really, just my blow by speed. Like that's, I mean, that's a big part of my game is my my ability just to blow by anybody. And uh, when you're on the left side and you're trying to blow by, you got to use your right foot and. Uh, so I, my left pad, my left hand pass to bogey. Uh, I was going down the left side. That that uh, it, it was a lot. It was in a lot of pain uh, going back. So um, like I said, yeah, it's it's more just the, the push off and the blow by. I understand that obviously we're getting some return, but was there any consideration in your mind to rest it after not playing the fourth quarter? Um, a little bit, a little bit for sure. I I, I mean I I wanted to go out and at least try. At least uh, try, and I, I got out there and I hit my first three, and then it's it's like everybody feels like I should be out there and keep keep fighting at least, and um, so that's something I just try to do is just keep fighting. Yeah. Did you think down the stretch of the fourth quarter after your injury, your teammates were maybe a little bit hesitant, or the offense kind of ground down? Maybe guys were looking towards you, trying to figure out what was going on with your ankle. Um, I don't know. I don't know what my teammates are thinking. I don't want to put words in their mouths or anything like that. But I mean, I, uh, obviously with my ankle being the way it was, I mean, we definitely needed them to be more aggressive and things like that. And I think guys are, were shooting the right shots and making the right plays. Do you think you'll play in game four? Uh, I'm gonna get as much treatment as I can. That's the, that's the plan. Tim. Was there any extra added frustration for you given how well you were playing up until you got hurt? For sure, for sure, definitely. Uh, Especially because I mean we we had the lead and we were we were doing good. We had a lot of momentum on our side and um, just uh, just a freaking uh, bad accident um, and it just just happens like that. And I know you're you're obviously going to bring bad games behind you, but just what was kind of the last couple of days like for you to kind of get ready for this game after the game three? I was just focused. Um, I don't like I've been saying. I never get too high or too low. Uh, I just I want to just enjoy this moment, enjoy this playoff experience. And uh, I mean, we're we're a team with a lot of guys in their first, I mean, first experience here. And uh, to just really enjoy the moment, and not not I mean, put too much pressure on us on, on ourselves, and just go out there and have fun and and, and uh, enjoy the game and learn from the game. And I think we uh, we did a good job of that. So. Sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I'm getting an MRI in the morning too. So um my follow up question is just something that Nate had mentioned for a while. How this is kind of like having those rough games, it's not something you learn to talk to your best enemy about having a rough game. Mm -hmm. A learning process that you're gonna be going through. How has that been for you? Uh being so young, still learning a lot about the game, but knowing that you are in a position of leadership, trying to figure out a lot of this stuff out on the fly. What has that been for you? Um uh, I mean, it's definitely beneficial. I mean, I, I mean, for me, I, I don't want to have two bad games in a row. Uh, I want to. Uh, I know it's going to happen sometimes. In NBA, you play a lot of games, and uh, you're going to have bad nights and off shooting nights. And uh, I had a terrible game too, and I uh, just didn't want to let my teammates down the way I did in the first uh, or, or in game two. Um, so I just wanted to come out here and play hard and play for them and uh, try to bounce back in a better way. All right, Jelani, go ahead. We'll start with Jeff Schultz on Zoom. Trey, I know it all happened really fast, but I'm just curious when you turned and uh, you stepped on the uh, the official's foot, 
uh, did you not see him or did you thought you had more room there? I'm just curious what happened. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I don't know. I didn't see him. I mean, I don't know the rule. I don't know if he's supposed to give me at least a step out of bounds or, I mean, I don't, I don't know what it is. Uh, but I mean, yeah, no, I didn't, no, I didn't see him, obviously. And then you, you, you sort of just touched on this too, but um, I mean, how determined were you after the last game to, to sort of really lead your team this game? Um, Cause obviously you came out, I think you hit your first three shots and you were, you were all over the place. Yeah, I mean, very determined, but I mean, it, it wasn't enough. So uh, I'm not going to sit here and talk about my game and, and uh, how well I played or whatever um, early in the game because it wasn't enough. So um, it was it was definitely a, a, a thought of mine to come out and play better for sure than game two. Um, definitely motivated. I feel like I let my teammates down. Um, so that was that was the motivation for me as a guard and at least at least give our team a chance and be better than I was last game. Thank you. Steve Hummer. Yeah, Trey, any, any injury is frustrating, but is it doubly so uh, more when it's such a freakish kind of thing? Yeah, for sure. Um, for sure. And, um, I mean, it sucks, but uh, knock on wood, but my, all my injuries have been because I've stepped on somebody's foot. And uh, it's uh, it's it's been a tough thing that I've had to deal with, but I've just got to be more mindful of where people's feet are. And uh, I mean, I got. I guess I have eyes behind my head now. Uh, watch the out of bounds line for these refs. So it's got to be better. And um, yeah, it's just a crazy accident. Did you and Sean Wright have a chance to talk, or did he say anything to no, you afterwards? No. Or no. Nah. Okay. Nah, we didn't talk. All right. Thanks. Uh, two more from the Zoom room, and then we'll go back in person. Uh, we'll go to Mark Bradley and then Brendan Harper. All right, the last one from Zoom will come from Brandon Harper. Hey, Trey, uh, obviously, you know, Chris Middleton, you know, really showed up finally in this series uh, after having two mediocre games. Um, what do you all need to do better in game four to kind of corral him and I guess kind of make sure you keep him at bay? I mean, yeah, we just got to do better, better job of just uh, being a little bit more physical with him and just um, – I don't know, making it tough. I mean, he's a, I mean, a good player, a guy who can really score, get going, and uh, he just had one of those nights tonight where he was, he was going. So we gotta definitely got key in on him a little bit, a little bit better, and um, just be better for, for game four. On the question of the night for Trey will come from Sarah Spencer. Mm-hmm. It's been really good. I was telling the other day, uh, I mean, he's definitely fortunate and blessed. He gets to play in the playoffs his rookie year. Uh, he gets to play in this type of experience and th these type of moments. So he's been playing really well, being aggressive when he gets the opportunity and playing really well on the defensive end. Been good. And I think he had an N1 dunk that wasn't called, but it was a it was a good play by him. And uh, he's, he's just been playing hard and it's, it's been good to see from him. Thank you, Trey. Thank you.